G'day Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. On today's video, I'm reacquainting myself with an old friend, the Crowther Audio Hotcake. These have been more or less in continuous production since about 1976. They're all made by Paul Crowther in New Zealand, and they're one of the more unique overdrive pedals out there. There have been several versions made, namely the normal hotcake, the double hotcake, the bluesberry, and a version for bass guitar. This particular pedal was sold to me by a subscriber who had heard me tell a story about, you know, basically my experiences with the hotcake and why I regretted selling it. A long story short, I used it on the ragdoll song Self-Censored. It's one of my favorite ragdoll songs and it's still one of my favorite solos that I've ever played. It was the hotcake with a 335 boosting a Marshall and it was just one of those kind of special moments when you're recording. We recently relearned that song to add it into our live set list and made me think about this pedal again. So I'm super fortunate to have been able to buy back one of these. And it's kind of like catching up with an old mate who you haven't seen for five or six years. They've got a whole bunch of experiences and stories to tell you. And in that kind of tradition, I'm gonna use the hot cake the way I used it when I was using it, but I've since been turned on to a bunch of other ways to use this particular pedal. Now, this particular pedal has little switches in it which lets you access the different modes. I'll do some comparison clips in there, but basically I just like the normal guitar version of it for everything. We'll hear that comparison later, but first I'm gonna try and replay that solo from Self Censored. You'll hear the core tone, which is already pretty saturated with some delay, and then I'll put the hot cake on as like a smoothing, kind of thickening agent on top of it. Let's go. kind of smoothing out the high end, it's changing the transient response and the pick attack in there, and it just makes everything kind of gooier and nicer to play. I never use the hot cake in any other application when I had it, but I do want to try it now with some single coil guitars into a very clean amp. We'll first hear it with my Warmoth Partscaster Tele and then with my 77 Strat. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another thing I never tried back when I had a hot cake, and again, using that analogy of like catching up with a mate, it's like one of those moments where they're like, hey, I know Kung Fu now as well. Let's try it in front of a heavily distorted chunky amp. And you can use the presence control on here to really kind of dial in how much attack you want in there. And then you can add the drive on there to basically turn it into a doom machine. And it gets absolutely out of control in some parts. So let's hear that. Now, I did mention that this has the little internal switches, which let you select between the normal and bluesberry mode. I'm just going to label it normal and blues and then guitar and bass mode. The bass mode has an extended low end response. You'll hear it with a clean amp and that chunky amp again. I think you can really hear the difference between the guitar and bass mode when it's running into a high gain amp. You can hear some very subtle difference between the normal and the blues mode, the way I set it with the whole clipping circuit. It really, really only affects it when you you're just getting into that kind of breakup zone on there. It's pretty subtle. You'll probably listen to these and figure out why I just like the normal guitar mode so much, but it is cool to have those options. <laughs>
the start of the video that I regretted selling the hot cake and rebuying it has definitely made me reappreciate it. It is a keeper. I'm going to be hanging on to this one and adding it to my extensive collection of drives because it does something that nothing else really does. It's got a pretty unique blend between some of my favorite features in boosts, overdrives and fuzz pedals. And the fact that it's from New Zealand and it's been in production so long and from everything that I can read, Paul Crowther will personally service pretty much anybody's hotcake if you can get it to them, uh, kind of makes it a rare gem in the entire sea of guitar pedals out there. I would love to hear your thoughts on the hotcake. Are you a hotcake user? Do you swear by it in your rig? Have you never tried one and you've been curious and this video has turned you onto it? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you want to support what I do here on the channel, there's some links to do that in the video description. I will also link that original recording of the Ragdoll song, Self Censored. Until next time, have a great time and I'll play you all out with some more noodling with the hotcake. Thanks for watching. But I can't help but wonder what the future holds for you. Ah, yes. Wonder.